In this video, I'll teach you how to play Waste by Fish. I'm going to show you some really easy ways to play all the chords so that by the end of this video, you will be able to play the entire song. So check out amarguitar.com for the tabs for this video. There is a link in the description. So grab your guitar and let's get started. So the song starts with just a good old D chord. And the pattern that we're going to use is for the D chord, we'll do a false drum. And then we'll play a bass note, the open D, and the rest of the chord. So again, that's full strum, bass note, strum, bass note. And that sounds like this. And then we're going to keep that pattern when we go to our next chord, which is a D major 7. And for that, you just bar your first finger across the top three strings across the G, B, and E strings. So our pattern, again, we'll do a strum, bass note, strum, bass note. So let's put those first two chords together. After that, we're going to keep our pattern and just play it over the D7 chord. So pattern, we'll do strum, bass note, strum, bass note. So let's put those three chords together. And after that, we've got a little bit of, of picking where we go. So what we're doing there is we're playing a D suspended 4, which is just like our D7, but instead of that top note, we just bring it up one fret, so we get, and I like to play that with my pinky. So we have a full strum of that chord, and then we pick the G string, and then the high E string, so. And on that high E string, we're plucking the 2nd fret. And then we play a D suspended 2nd, which is, which, and we pluck one note at a time. So that whole part sounds like this. And if that is a little advanced for you, don't worry, I'll give you an easier way to play that in just a minute. So let's put that whole first part together. Let's play it slowly. So again, if this part... If that is a little advanced for you, what you can do is just this. Just strum a full D7 suspended chord, and then you can do a D7, and then take off your first, your third finger. So. Again, you still get the whole sound of it, but it's easy enough that you can even just play it with a thumb. So I'll show you what that sounds like when you put that all together. Still get the whole sound of the of that part, but you don't have to do any of that fancy picking if you don't want to. So after that, what we'll do is we'll take our two fingers and we'll slide it up a couple frets, and we'll do a G triad. So slide up, and you play just. The D, G, and B strings. And we have a similar pattern here where we're going to play the bass note and then the whole little triad. 
that we'll play a G minor triad, which means you just bar your first finger across the third fret. And then you've got your ring finger on the fifth fret of the D string. So. After that, we're going to play a D chord, but we're going to voice it like this. So let's put that whole second part together where we have So again, that pattern stays the same the whole way through. We have bass note, strum, bass note, strum, bass note, strum. So let's put that whole part together, which is essentially the intro and the verse. So for that, again, it's the whole verse, the whole intro takes that, takes that entire part and we play it the whole way through. So. Don't want to be an actor, pretending on the stage. Don't want to be a writer, with my thoughts out on the page. Don't want to be a painter, cause everyone comes to look. For the next part, what we do is we play the whole G, G minor, and D triad. So, a dream, it's true. But I'd see it through. And for the chorus, we play just the whole that whole progression. If I could be So the first verse and the second verse take the, the whole pattern and we just repeat it. So don't want to be a farmer working in the sun, don't want to be an outlaw, always on the run, same thing. Um, and after the second chorus, if I could be wasting my time with you. After that part, it goes to the bridge, which has a set of different chords. So for the bridge, we've got four different chords. We've got F, we've got C, G, and then D. And I'll play you I'll play you the bridge and then we'll talk about how to put together the le the left hand part and the right hand part. So what's happening here is that for the F chord, we don't have a full F chord, a full F bar chord. You can play that if you'd like. Um, the way I prefer it, I, I, this is the way Trey plays it and I think it sounds really nice. We've got an F chord where we're not playing the low E string or the high E string, which got the four strings in the middle. And the pattern here is down, and we pluck the lowest note, which is on our A string. So down, pluck, down down, up, which sounds like this. And we use that same pattern for pretty much the rest of the, rest of the song at this point. So down, pluck, down, down, up, down, pluck, down, down. So that's for the F chord. For the C chord, same thing. G, 
chord, yet again the same thing. Same pattern for our D chord. So all together that sounds like this. So we play that pattern three times, and then we play an F chord, and a C, and that's the at the final part of the song, which is the outro. So the final three chords, G, A minor, C. And we're gonna use the same pattern that we used over the bridge. So which is down, note, down, down, up, down, note, down. For the C, we do that pattern twice because the C lasts twice as long as the other two chords. So all together, that sounds like this. And that just keeps repeating. on that big old C chord. 